All right, well, it was nice to finally see the sun today, and it sounds like things are warming up, but some rain as well. Of course. So Andrew is standing by with more on what we can expect when we wake up in the morning, Andrew. Well, Pamela and Sandra, you're right. We have rain on the way, but remember, almost a week ago to the date, we are looking at we were looking at snow that was in the forecast, but fortunately, this is liquid precipitation that falls, but that does mean some disruption for tomorrow morning because some of that rain will be heavy at times, and you still always want to be careful, even if the streets are wet, and not icy or snowy. Overnight lows will be in the upper 20s and low 40s, anywhere from 40 to 44 degrees when we wake up uh, on our Monday morning here in the metro zone. South of I-94 in our south zone, when you join us on Local 4 News today, rain will just be arriving shortly after 4 o'clock in the morning. And then breakfast time temperatures or bus stop temperatures will be in the low and middle 40s there from Adrian to Monroe. Same thing west of I-275 I in Livingston County, western Oakland County, north of Hall Road, same sort of deal. That's right. In Sandusky, the thumb. Those temperatures also above freezing, so we're looking at the prospects for rain, not snow, across all of southeast Michigan. 42 right now over at the airport. Winds out of the southeast at around 7 miles per hour, and visibility is looking good. Grab your umbrellas, grab your rain gear if you're going to the bus stop tomorrow morning, or even if you're driving about, factor on at least a little extra time, because some of these rain showers will be heavy at times. Wouldn't be surprised by the rumble of thunder or a flash of lightning as well. Not very frequent, but something to be on guard for. Overnight lows will be in the upper 20s and low 40s and remain in the low 40s during the morning. But look at how much they rise tomorrow afternoon into the low 60s because that rain is mainly confined to the morning and we'll see pe uh, peaks of sunshine here and there during the afternoon. And then temperatures go up from there by Wednesday, upper 60s, still in the 60s through Thursday. Now, it does get cooler by the end of this week for Good Friday and also Easter weekend. We'll talk about that in a second. And the chance of showers once again beyond Monday. Currently, though, it's 44 for our neighbors in Pontiac, 41 over in Port Huron. Temps holding around 40 or a bit more over in Monroe as well. What you're seeing right here, the green showing up, that's not rainfall. That's mainly ground clutter, clutter that's being picked up by the radar. It's in high sensitivity mode, so just some fine particles that are in the atmosphere. Nothing falling from the sky just yet. But notice on the computer models, we've got uh, clouds that start to move in. They start to lower. They start to thicken. They're associated with a warm front, and that will be the spark for some of these showers that appear on our western horizon, travel from west to east. So Livingston, Washtenaw, Lenway counties, you'll be some, seeing some of that rainfall first between 3 and 4 in the morning. Then they're draped across nearly all of southeast Michigan. You see the bits of red showing up there, showing that it will be heavy at times, but during the beginning and heart of the morning commute. Then a bit of a break. A chance of a few showers possible in the afternoon, but the better chance for wetness during the day on Monday is in the morning. So 41 degrees on average overnight with cloudier skies and rain moving in by dawn. Sunrise is at 701. Rain heavy at times in the morning, some lightning possible as well. Then 56 degrees at noontime as the rain starts to move away. 62 for a high, and I still put in at least a slight chance for a shower or two for the ride home, so be on guard for that. Drier and a bit milder on your Tuesday, a high of 64. Then it gets warmer. Wednesday and Thursday, near 70 degrees. Notice we have rain coming back. 68 degrees on your Wednesday, a cold front with showers and, th and storms on Thursday, a high of 66. And notice, Good Friday and Easter weekend, brighter, cooler, but not too cold. Temps in the 50s, seasonable for the holiday weekend.